guys, welcome to a hamster's tail. Today I'm going to be showing you my hamster binder. Okay, so on the front of the binder, it just says hamster binder and care. And across it says hamster care. Um, I made all of this on pickmonkey.com. The link will be in the description below. Um, first, I went on Google and I found my background. This is probably my background for every single one. And then on pickmonkey, they just have really cool um, like designs that you can do and add. Um, okay, so on the first page... Notice I did spell Syrian wrong here at the top. I then caught it later on. Sadly, I didn't catch it until maybe the 10th page. But, um, yeah, anyways, if you see some red lines or something, that's just because my ink for some reason was going out, and I had to do that. But this is just the background on Syrian hamsters, like where they were discovered, and the how they are the most common pet hamster, um, and their different names. Okay, now on to the second page. The Syrian hamsters need company. Um, it's just like, it also says who should care for my hamster when I go on holiday. It says, you know, what happens if you go away. Um, general care. Um, this is just saying um, like your housekeeping duties and how a hamster's teeth grow continuously. And it's just saying how you have to get it used to you and hand taming. Now these two pages are do, do's and don'ts, um, like right here it says just do allow your pet to settle in for 24 hours before handling for the first time. Um, I actually recommend maybe three to four days, Hopping Hammy recommends a week. Um, it just really depends on your hamster and see how it's settling in and if it's doing good in its new environment. The second do is do keep your pet indoors out of direct sunlight and a room with steady temperature and no droughts. A bedroom or lounge is ideal. Um, most of these are do's, which is a good thing, but um, like, do you check your hamster's food? Do you clean the cage? Don't feed lettuce. Don't keep them near televisions or stereos because these actually can't produce high frequency sounds. Will irritate them. Um, don't ever use aerosol cans near them as they can produce toxic fumes. And don't overcrowd the cage with toys. Um, my next thing is Syrian hamster care. Oh, oh see, I fixed it there. Fixed it. All right. Um, do I need to groom my Syrian hamster? Um, long ham, ham long hair hamsters actually do need grooming. Um, I added a little toothbrush here. Um, I said you could also use a soft toothbrush, which is a lot cheaper than buying a brush when this works just as well. Um, this just shows how big um, should a hamster's cage be? Um, this I just put down here. This is not actually the cage I have. Um, I would never really get any of these cages for a couple reasons. Um, but anyways, um, this just shows how big it should be, like 75 centimeters times 30 times 30. Um, where should I put my hamster's cage? Hamster can be good at escaping the cage. Um, so yeah. Now on this next page, it just says, what should I feed my Syrian hamster? I had this cute food bowl right there. Um, it just says commercial hamster mixes contain seed, usually fed. Um, just watch out for the foods that are like non-brand thing. Um, I forget what it's called, but make sure um, you just get a good brand. I would recommend Harry the Hamster food. That's very good. Um, I get CareFresh. Um, I forget the name, but I get the Carefresh brand, which is also really good. I just wouldn't recommend it for dwarf hamsters. Now the next page is just about Syrian, like water for your Syrian hamster. This is not just for Syrian hamsters. I'm just going to be getting a Syrian, um, which just means like, you know, I just looked up um, Syrian hamster care and this came up. So I put this down. This just shows um, you should use a water bottle over a bowl and how much access they should have to fresh clean water. Okay, on the next page, it's just about housing, like when selecting a cage, um, what's the difference between wire cages and 10 gallon aquarium, oh, not 10 gallon aquarium, and just like aquariums with a wire mesh top. Um, making sure exercise is good, um, and they should have a wheel for running. Um, on the next page, um, how do I know if my hamster is ill? This just shows some hazards that could happen in a tragedy or something like that. Um, like diarrhea, loss of appetite, drinking much more than less than normal, limping, unusual bleeding. 
Um, if you see any of these signs, please visit your vet straight away. Um, these could be other signs of illnesses. Not on this list. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot more um, illnesses than what's on this list, actually. I'm just giving you a good look at the list. So, yeah, this is, I just put this down here. Um, I would have cropped all this white out, but I was just okay um so on this next page it just says does my hamster need toys obviously it needs toys um a wheel for at night time for exercise and it also needs wooden toys to knot its teeth down um they just need plenty of exercise and a non-block should also be provided because it helps wear down their teeth okay um how can i let my hamster dig they usually burrow so just make sure you have nesting material inside of the nest Okay, so this next page just says, does my hamster need a nest box? Which I was just talking about. Um, a nest box is normally an igloo or a hidey house. Um, when I actually first told my mom about this, um, she's like, no, your hamster is not going to be getting a nest box. I don't want any babies. I'm like, well, if I'm just getting one Syrian hamster, it shouldn't have babies unless I buy it with babies. But um, she didn't understand what I meant by a nest box. So please make sure you explain to your parents what a nest box is, unless they already know. It also talks about what type of bedding you should give to your hamster and how often do I need to change my hamster, clean my hamster's cage, and if they dislike the rapid change. Okay, so this is potential health problems. Um, this is very handy and very important to have. Um, it just shows you what happens if you have overgrowth teeth, hibernation if that happens, and weekly health checks very important um i do my weekly health checks on wednesdays um the only reason for that is because my schedule on the weekends is normally somewhere else i'm normally either at a friend's house or i'm somewhere um so i also clean my cage is on thursday because i won't have time on the weekends so this is just a simple page saying what they'll need cage exercise wheel substrate bedding water bottle food and another food. Oh, food bowl. Okay, so um, this is just a page talking about different toys and treats, like wood gnaws, treats, and toys, um, just so you, they don't get bored and to train them, and just wood gnaws to wear down their teeth. When is it best to spend time with my hamster? Um, that is very handy. Everyone should already know that they are nocturnal. Not, mm, well, I wouldn't say nocturnal. Yeah, they're nocturnal, but um, they could be also active in the evening. Very active in the evening, actually. Um, this is just about handling. Um, you should always either cup them. Some people actually do the claw method. Um, I have really nothing against that. Some hamsters think that they are getting picked up by a bird, but if you are bonded with them enough, then I think that should be fine. Okay, Syrian hamster's lifespan. This is more on the Syrian hamster spot. Um, like two to three years in their description. Okay, over here it just says their temperament, temperament, um, docile and everything. Um, this just says they should be housed alone. Um, definitely Syrian hamsters. Uh, dwarf hamsters are, they can live together. Just if you have a male and a female together, they will definitely mate. Okay, so this is just hamster cleaning and is my hamster a boy or girl? Um, so that's what's on that page. Um, Syrian hamster health. See, this is all getting more into the Syrian hamster. Oh, okay. Now here's more into like the safe foods and stuff. Um, safe fresh foods. Um, apples without seeds and plums and bananas. Okay, um, what else is on here? Acorns, missile, cheese, cantaloupe, starfruit, broccoli. I have so much stuff on This is actually my favorite thing here um it says healthy snacks and treats this just shows you like baby food um syrians yes rubbers winter whites camp bells chinese serving size one teaspoon one to two times a week that is what it is for all of these like dangerous foods it doesn't say that like avocado should be an obvious thing and um chocolate this next one is just meats and animal protein um, beef, all of those are yes, serving size, one fourth teaspoon, one to two times a week. Fruits, these are all fruits, same thing. 
Um, these, this is actually my favorite page. Um, Legans, I think that's how you pronounce it. Nuts and seeds. Um, the seeds part is actually very handy for me. Chia seeds, yes, yes. Seven to ten seeds a day. So this is what I really like that page. This is my last page. Vegetables. Um, different vegetables. Oh, okay. Location. Um, this just determines like the temperature should be from 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I think it could be a little. Mm, yeah, 75 would be. I think the amount. Oh, and this I printed off of PetSupermarket.com. I'll also put that link below. Um, this shows you some things on here, like 26 species and subspecies. Hamster's home needs water bottle. Just hide. All right, well, you guys, that's the rest I actually have on here. I do have a side thing that just says um, my daily chain um, hamster thing on it. What's it say? Um, hamster care and it just says 2015. So yeah guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, you guys should maybe make your own so you can have your own little facts and details about your hamsters. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video. Remember my, I have links below to bring you to some pages. Bye!